Hi guys, I'm back again today. So today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of being a creative professional. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on that, keep watching. So being a creative seems like the best job in the world. You get to do what you love, get paid for it, and get praised for it by people who love it. But it is not all good. There is another side of the penny. So our first pro is of course, you get to do what you love, whether you're a writer or a painter or a musician, whatever you do, you can create what you love. On the other hand, you might not get paid for it. <laughs> and that is the worst thing about being a creative professional, I think, is that you don't know where your next paycheck is potentially coming from. This can cause a lot of stress on a person and can often make people less creative and not want to create because they don't know where their money's coming from. And to be honest, the starving artist isn't a good look on anyone. <laughs> it really isn't. Along the same lines as that, pro is people might love your work but a con people might also hate it and criticism is a hard pill to swallow the bigger you get as a creative professional the more people you're gonna have hating your work and slamming it and calling it problematic and all sorts of things and that can be incredibly stressful for a creative professional and it's the kind of thing you wouldn't get in any other job you wouldn't get a famous dentist on Harley Street having massive haters <laughs> but you do as a creative so that's something that we all have to deal with the idea the more success you get potentially the more hatred you get from the public it's just how it is this one comes along with almost being an athlete I think it's the same kind of principle I'm not an athlete so I wouldn't know but there is the constant fear your creativity is going to run out. Just like if you're an athlete, you might fear tearing a hamstring or uh, breaking, or <laughs> tearing your Achilles heel or something like that, which would end your career. Most artists fear they're gonna wake up one day and not have that gift anymore, not be able to create. And if that stops, then we've lost our jobs. <laughs> so that's a scary one. But on the flip side of that, your creativity can grow and always improve. So it means that you always have room for improvement, which means that your craft can get better and better and better. And you can you can move up the field that you're in, whether that's a writer or an artist or a musician. So that's always a good thing. One kind of negative, if you will, is that there is no quick fix for a creative career. You've got to put the work in, you've got to be uploading every week, you've got to be coming up with new ideas, you have to be painting, you have to be writing songs. There is no overnight success, not really, because the people who get overnight success are often the ones who they burn bright and they fizzle out quickly. And nobody really wants that. If you're a true creative professional, you want a long and healthy career, not a quick, get rich quick scheme kind of career so yeah there's no quick way of doing it but just like there's no quick way of being a doctor and sometimes you might think god I wish I had studied something or gone into a career that was easier that I maybe wouldn't have loved as much but it would have been so simple there's a clear career path but that is not the way to think we are creatives for a reason we have this thing that no one else can really do you might have 10,000 painters but no one can quite paint how you do and I think that is what is so exciting about being a creative and yes it is not always sustainable completely and it takes a while to get the contacts to get to where you need to be in your career but once you are there it will be amazing I've had a blip recently because I'm a creative so that's why I made this video I've had a blip I didn't know what kind of journalism I wanted to do I didn't know what kind of writing I wanted to do and then I met a woman, <laughs> an amazing woman, and I did an interview and it reminded me I just wanted to be with people. I just want to tell people stories. I just want to talk to people and be around people and shake people's hands and have physical contact and just people, people, people. I love people. 
And if you're going through that rut at the moment of only focusing on the negatives, because it might seem like there are a lot, just think of that one thing that got you started in the first place. Because we all look at the world differently to other people. We're in like this little exclusive group that you're born into. We have skills that other people don't, and they will pay you for them one day. I can guarantee you. So please, if you're a creative, don't give up, never give up. Don't train to be a lawyer if you really want to be a, a saxophonist. Don't be a nurse if you actually want to be the next Leonardo da Vinci. Do it because it's worth all the hard work and sometimes it doesn't seem it, but it will be. So my potentially biased opinion is that there are more pros than cons about being a creative. So yeah, that was the video this week, short and sweet, but I've really been struggling with this idea of what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna live? How much money am I gonna make? <laughs> and obviously it's not about that, but as I said, you need food and you need shelter and you need all of that. But I have been reminded of why I love writing. So yes, if you wanna see the article of the woman that I met, the artist, I'm gonna link it down below and please go and check out my blog post on this topic, it's a bit more satirical than this piece. So if you want to check that out, I'm gonna put that down below as well. Yes, thank you creatives and non-creatives who buy our work. Thank you so much <laughs> for watching this video. And I hope that these points made some sort of sense. If you have any more pros and cons about being a creative, please leave them down below. If I've missed anything, I can guarantee I have. And tell me what kind of creative you are. Are you an artist? Are you a, are you a poet? Are you a writer? Are you a musician? Tell me, I wanna know all of your beautiful creativeness. And follow all of my social medias. I'm gonna link them down below. We just hit 500 followers on Instagram. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway over there. So if you like books, hint, hint, go and check it out because the giveaway will be there. And follow my Twitter and everything and come back every Sunday, please, because I'm gonna be here and make sure that you like this video because it helps me out so much. And subscribe, please. Join our little creative and non-creative family. Uh, it, it would just mean the world to me. And I will be back next Sunday. So I shall see you then. Bye.